Okay, let's open our spreadsheet again. There's Excel. And there's our Excel 97 working workbook. Right, let's click in E5 and click the Auto Sum button. Now that's selected the cells we want, otherwise we could select them ourselves. And press Enter. Then we click in E6 and click the Auto Sum to get that total. Now click in B7 and let's click the function button or paste function FX there and we'll select statistical under the function category and select average and OK now let's click the collapse button that's that one there and we'll select B4 to B6 and then click the expand button or what's now the expand button and click OK we could have typed that formula into the box of course now we can do apply the function either by using the function button or just copy the function across there we go now let's make the heading look pretty let's select A1 and click the font arrow drop arrows and uh, select book antique or some other font, font that you have installed on there and let's click the size drop arrow there and select 14 as the size and let's bold it let's click the bold button Okay, now let's select cells B3 to D3 and let's make those italic and we'll deselect the underline. Now select cell B3 and click the format painter, that's, that's the paintbrush up there and then click E3 and it paints the format on there select E3 where well it's still selected and double click on Format Painter and then click and drag across A4 to A7 and then press the Escape key to turn off the Format Painter Now in, click in the uh, name box and type A3 to E7 and it selects those for you. Click the borders drop arrow on the formatting toolbar and you can drag that anywhere you like if it gets in the way and click the bottom right border button then click outside the range so we can see the effect. and we can close the borders palette now select E4 to E6 and let's click the fill color drop arrow fill color and we'll select a bright green Now click in G5 or anywhere to so you can see the effect. Now let's select A3 to E7 and let's go to the edit menu undo all our work here. Edit menu clear and select formats okay now let's go to the format menu again and select auto format 
and let's select accounting one and click OK uh, click in G5 and see what, somewhere outside and see the effect uh, OK but let's click on un the undo button OK now let's right click on a toolbar and we'll select and we'll select the drawing toolbar now click on the oval button there and then click on the junction of a s around a6 and b6 and drag out over to d7 e7 area you can always resize the oval afterwards let's move the oval so that it covers the cells and then click on the fill color drop arrow and select no fill now we can see through it now click on the text box on the drawing toolbar and click around the top left of F7 and drag out to around the to around G9 and then we'll type these are average monthly amounts we might need to resize the text box okay now we'll click on the arrow tool there we go arrow and click at the, about the midpoint of the side of the toolbox and drag out to C7 so we're pointing to the ones that we've ringed there we go and we'll save that